the kidneys of the sharks are pronephrous kind of kidneys pronephrous kind of kidneys are the most primitive kind of kidneys in vertebrates organisms earlier or the primitive the organ is less functional it was right because there was less competition among the organisms for food and different things and and the evolution was also taking place improving the things improving the things improving the things that's why earliest structures were less complicated and less functional as compared to now so the pro nephrus nephrus means kidney while pro means primitive the earlier the pro nephrus kind of kidney is that kind of kidney which has less number of nephrons and that that nephrons which are present in the pro nephrus kidneys are less functional as compared to you, your kidney your kidney do what they make concentrated kind of urine concentrated with reference to your blood organisms have a pronephrous kidney that is less functional it can make that kind of urine how to solve the problem to make the body isoosmotic if things are not controlled by any or organ then the body maintains isoosmotic condition so there shouldn't be any difference of so seeing things will will not move in or out of organism first thing in that making making the body isoosmotic is with the help of salts right the marine system the marine ecosystem outside has 3.5% salts in it and that is a higher concentration if organism is going to maintain 3.5 percent of salt concentration in its body with sodium chloride that will trigger a lot of problem to the body as sodium is highly active ion with reference to nervous system if that much sodium is present in in the cells or interstitial fluid or or in the blood then all the time the fishes will be hyper active with reference to their nervous system simple mein aap soch sakte hain ki wo har waqt bhagti phir rahi hongi ya phir pagal ho jayengi theek hai तो इस प्रॉब्लम को हल कैसे किया है कि सम अदर काइंड ऑफ सॉल्ट्स विल बी देयर दैट आर नॉट रिलेटेड टू दैट ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम और एनी अदर सिस्टम एंड दैट इज़ यूरिया यूरिया इज कैप्ड इन द ब्लड एंड इन द टिश्यू फ्लूड अप टू और मोर हायर एज कंपेयर टू द मरीन एनवायरनमेंट आउटसाइड 3.5 और मोर देन 3.5 परसेंट बट यूरिया इट सेल्फ इज टॉक्सिक यू नो दैट इट kills the cell it damages the cells so what how the problem is solved that most of the urea is kept so as to maintain a concentrated kind of blood or tissue fluids and t tmo trimethyl amine oxide another chemical another salt is kept in the blood to kill the toxic effect of the urea so urea is keeping the salt concentration but it is damaging as well and tmo is killing the that cons, that toxic effects of the urea thus without keeping sodium chloride in the blood the blood of the sharks is isoosmotic with that of their environment moreover the salts are also lost via gills as gills is the place where blood is in almost in direct contact with the outside water so the gills blocks the loss of the tmo and urea moreover the food which is ingested by these organism from that food although that food don't have that much salt in it that much urea or the tmo in it still by means of active transport salts are absorbed from the food handed over to the intestine and then to the blood furthermore the excess salts are lost via fecal material sodium is also released in urine as the incoming water and incoming food both contain excess of sodium chloride moreover rectal gland which are an extension of or in other words you can say which open into the digestive system you can see over here this is the rectal gland which is the extension of the digestive system absorbs 
the sodium chloride from surrounding blood and also pour that sodium chloride solution into the rectum and that's thus from the rectum from the cloaca they are excreted out so you can say that sodium chloride sodium is excreted by the rectal gland as well this is how they have maintained their osmoregulation while as far as the release of the nitrogenous waste material is concerned the kidney make less concentrated almost hypoosmotic kind of urine with little of the urea to outside